You know, what you told me before we went to the break, you actually cured yourself with that whole autoimmune protocol. Now, you didn't do it 100%. Yeah. I should say cured. You, you t- doctored yourself. You treated yourself. You didn't do it 100%. You probably missed some stuff because you were still doing it kind of blindly. You didn't really know why you were doing it or why it was working. You didn't have the understanding. Now you do. So here's the thing, though, Lee. You're smarter than your doctor. You understand? Or whoever is treating you. Because you, under, you, you took care of yourself and we, we underestimate our power. We underestimate, we don't trust ourselves. We don't think we're authorities. We don't think we're, we, we're smart enough. And there, the, the medical model encourages us to think this because they get paid by us thinking we're dumb or at least we're not capable. Lee, you're fully capable, you already did it. So continue doing it and, I, and I, I'm not gonna repeat myself, I just told you all the stuff, but you can go back to the archive if you didn't get it. And then uh, if you have anything else, let me know. I want to take a couple more calls if I can. Yes. Yes. Um, okay, so I, I believe I have a sensitivity to coconut. So what are my fat options besides olive oil? Well, I doubt you. I, I find that unlikely, first of all. So try eating a bunch of coconut and see what happens. Coconut oil particularly because that's the good stuff. So okay. spend the day eating coconut oil or at least a big part of it. And, and don't eat anything else even. And that okay, way you'll find time. out for yourself. Did you do that? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to do it. But if, okay, and if I can't tolerate... Um, you can't tolerate eggs, coconut oil? No, eggs, eggs are whey protein. What are my protein options for liquid options? You'll you know, have to play around with it. You, you'll have to play around with it. Fish soup, chicken soup, bone soup. Okay. Um, you know, uh, everything's going to have some protein in it. You want the protein to be easy to process, though. So liquid protein, like bone soup, is a great one. Okay. Okay? Wonderful. And Thank sometimes you, so you can do different types of eggs, too. So play around with the types of eggs. Sometimes the, the amount of cooking affects it. So sometimes people can't do hard, but they can do soft-boiled. Okay? Perfect. Good job, man. Congratulations, though. Very impressively. Thank you very much. All right, man. Be good. Okay, let's go to New Hampshire. Brian, what's up, man? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Ben. How you doing today? Doing good. How's it going? I love New Hampshire, by the way. Love, love, love that state. Where are you? Just to follow up on what you were saying, um, my fiance was diagnosed at a young age with both bipolar and, uh, I think, borderline personality disorder. Okay. Before she then she went on to become a nutritional advisor and quickly realized that she didn't need her prescriptions. Awesome. And so I just wanted to touch upon that. That's awesome. What does she do now? Right now, she's a nutritional advisor. I mean, but specifically. Uh, so she works in multiple vitamin stores. She works in my like, vitamin shop. And okay, good. She she like farms herself out to different health health places, vitamin places. Precisely. Exactly. Nice, nice, nice. Good deal. So what's going on today? My um, questions were what uh, in terms of what we were talking about today. So, um, melatonin. Okay. Melatonin. Uh, like I last time we spoke. So it wasn't exactly a good thing to take before going to sleep because it might throw off your 5-HCP. All of that. Melatonin balance. All of that. Did you just avoid all of that by just taking 5-HCP and avoid no. taking melatonin? No. 5-HCP is useless. I've never seen anybody get benefits from that stuff. I, I don't want to say useless because probably there's somebody out there who is getting benefits. I've just never seen it. The body regulates the conversions of these things. You can't just take a precursor and then expect the body to just natural, just make more of the stuff. There's too many control mechanisms. You follow? You can't yeah. just take, the precursors are important. You need the, and by precursors, I mean the raw materials. The body converts these raw materials into other things. And 5-HTP for the listeners is, is converted into a serotonin through some steps, but those steps are tightly regulated and the body is not just gonna make more serotonin because you take 5-HTP. So negative. This is why melatonin is a problem and it's why melatonin is not a problem. I mean, why melatonin has benefits because it bypasses the conversion. You follow? You don't have to convert yeah. anything. It goes right to work. That's also why, like you said, and you pointed out very accurately, Brian, you can throw things off when you start doing these things. Now, I personally, and this is just my opinion, okay, I think it's worth it with melatonin. You just you got to be careful. You got to pay attention. I think it's worth it in my personal experience and in the experience of my patients. But you're going to have, because your point is very well taken, Brian. This is a hormone. You're throwing it in the body, and you can do, you know, you might, it's conceivable you could throw things off. So you just got to pay attention. Okay. Does that help? Let's follow, yeah, let's follow up. Well, by the same logic, when it's being taken like tryptophan, that'd be a bad idea. I mean, so nah, trip, be- see, here's the thing with the aminos. Okay, I like tryptophan especially. They're never found in nature by themselves. There's no tryptophan tree. You know, there's no tryptophan fruit. They're in conjunction with everything else. And the body, this this is why whole foods are so important. This is why supplements will never replace whole foods. 
supplements supplement whole foods. Okay? Yes. And nothing says this more clearly than tryptophan and, and amino acids in general, but tryptophan is so powerful, 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 powerful amino acid. It's a building amino acid. It's not found in nature really in great amounts. It's, uh, tryptophan is so important for the skin. Tryptophan is electromagnetic. It turns the sun into... It, it, tryptophan has an ability to turn the sun into our bodies. Did you hear that, Brian? That is... Yeah. Dude, that rocks... That blows me, blows me away. The sun is converted into human tissue through the action of tryptophan and tryptophan-like substances. It's, it's ridiculously important for building. It is maybe the primary building amino acid, but in nature it's found with other amino acids, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. And that's why I don't talk about amino acids as much as we do the, the vitamins and the minerals and the other essential nutrients. You, know, you follow me? Yeah. There are a little, the aminos, uh, some of these aminos, the balance is very, very important. So I don't think, tryptophan may help a little bit, but it's still not going to do it like melatonin. Okay, let me just follow up then lastly. If it helps me go to sleep, I always take magnesium glycinate, lysinate, chelate, okay. uh, chelate. And um, I was at, I'm curious then, if you've ever followed up on magnesium l 3 onate. Ah, uh, the three and eight salts is—it's another amino acid, and we talked about this a couple of days ago. I don't know—I don't think it was with you. Somebody called about the chelates, and that's really the way you want to go, in my opinion, is with chelated uh, amino acids. If you can't do the colloidals, the colloidals are, are better than the than the chelates. The, the, if you're going to do a solid, like a capsule or a tablet, a solid form, go chelate and look for an amino acid chelate. So threonine is good, and threonine is very underappreciated, and it's not as problematic as some of the other ones. But I like the aspartates because you get a little mental b b boost from it, like a little buzz from it. Not, you okay. don't feel a buzz, but it's an upregulator for the brain. Now, again, you don't want to overdo it. You know, Dr. Uh, Blaylock, whom, you know, I think he's kind of, well, Dr. Blaylock talks about the aspartates, and he says stay away from them. I think he's wrong on that, but you do want to be careful with them. And there's a big difference between staying away and being careful. That's why, you know, there's a lot of things where people say, oh, you want to stay away, stay away. I say be careful because sometimes you get benefits, like the whole oils thing, for example. Basically, we want to learn to try. Brian, thanks so much for your call, buddy. I got to go. We're out of time here. Um, Brian's one of our, our smart listeners. I love my smart listeners, man. I love talking to smart people. It's so, it's so uh, it, it just it makes it so much easier. You know what, guys? I loved what, I loved what uh, Lee said before. He said he, he did a protocol and it helped, but he went off it for whatever reason. We got to learn to trust ourselves. We got to learn to trust our internal divine nature. So many times I hear this where, oh, I went off it. The doctor told me it was silly, or the doctor told me hey, this is what Lee said, but we don't trust ourselves. Learn to trust your inner divine wisdom because it's there. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side. Thanks for being here, folks. We'll be at you tomorrow with more good, good health information. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day.